coming and talking about the properties of solids and liquids. And we've developed some word banks. And one of our word banks was our solid word bank. And we talked about different words and what they meant. And we observed some different solids and we talked about what properties they had. So let's look at our word bank and let's read our words on our word bank. And then I'll ask you to tell me if you know a solid that has that property. Okay, so what's this first word? Hard. 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 Sorry, can you tell me something that is hard, a solid that is hard? This stick. Is this stick hard? Yeah. Does it have that property? Yeah. Okay, so if I tried to break it, it would be kind of hard to break. Could I eventually break it if I put enough force? on it? Yeah, I could, but it's it's hard enough that it doesn't just give way. This is a fancy scientist word. Rigid. Rigid. And rigid is pretty similar to hard, right? Yeah. Ariana, can you tell me something that's rigid? Your teeth are rigid. I'm trying to get that Okay. But they're rigid. Okay. How about the next word? Tim, can you try that next word? Hmm, it starts like rough. rugged, rough, that O U G is just up, rough, something that's rough, <laughs> what's something that's rough to tell? The wall might be rough, if you ran your hand along the wall, the wall you'd feel that roughness of the wall. Okay, nice job. How about that next one, Mike Lindo, can you read that first one in the second row? Soft. Zari, can you tell me something that is soft or has the property of being soft? A blanket. A blanket is soft. Or my soft. sweater. My sweater is soft. Ariana? Um, our clothes. Um, a baby's car seat. A baby's car seat is soft, <laughs> Michelangelo. I know a teddy bear. A teddy bear is soft. Clothes. Clothes are soft. If you felt your clothes, it's soft. Feel it. Go ahead, feel your clothes. Are they soft? No. They are soft. Smooth. That's, a, that's our next property. Smooth. My skin is smooth. Okay. How about, what if we looked at this piece of foil? What properties could we use to describe that piece of foil? Could we say it's smooth? And shiny. And it is shiny. And it is flexible. So can a solid have more than one property? Can a solid have more than one property? Of course it can. And it's flexible. Is it pointy too? So we noticed that our solids here have some of those same properties that we have on our solids word bank. So what we're going to do is Ariana and Tim are going to be experts with this wooden stick. And Zaria and Michelangelo are going to be experts on the foil. And are each going to get an observation journal. And your first direction is to write your name on your observation journal. And then you flip to the first page and it says, let's read this together. It says, first solid is dry. Well, dry is a property of something. What does it mean if something is dry? That means it's not like soaking wet. It's not soaking like wet. It's not even wet at all. We'll look at our materials when they're dry. Then tomorrow, we're going to look at it after it's been wet. And we're going to see what happens. And we're going to observe some different properties. Are they going to be the same? So your first step today is to put your name on your journal. Then you're going to write about how your solid looks, Tim. So Tim, what's something that, can you tell me a sentence that you could say about your stick? It's flat. So it already gives you the words, it looks. So you could say, it looks flat. flat. What other properties could you use? Tall. Tall. Wooden. Okay. Wooden. Any of those? Hard. Could we use any of those other ones? Smooth. Okay, so I would expect to see those property words on in your journal entry. Okay. Easy. It's big dogs.
let's write for one more minute. Let's observe for one more minute, and then we'll share what we found. Ariana, let's write for one more minute, and then we'll share what we found. Ooh, easy to fold. Good observation. Flexible. Well, is this flexible? Nope, he's writing the word round. How do you spell the word out? Does anyone at the table know how to spell the word? O U T. And in that word out, that O U makes the ow sound. The same is used in round. Easy to fold and flat. All right, those are all good observations of the properties of this. I could see that it's shiny, it is easy to fold, and after you folded it, it did become very rough. What did you come up with, Angela? Shiny, flexible, pointy. Easy to fold, and what does it mean if something's easy to fold? You can fold it and it's not hard to do it. It's not Okay. Can you think of one of our words from our word bank that would go along with easy to fold? Would mean kind of the same thing as easy to fold? Flexible. Flexible, yeah. And Michelangelo? Shiny. And what, what does that mean to be shiny? Um, you can see yourself. You can see All right. Nice job, boys.